guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of a little bit of a different video for me. I have found a new liquid lipstick formula that I kind of enjoy and this is something I wanted to share with you guys. It's definitely not something new to the market. I actually don't know how long ago these liquid lipsticks came out, but I picked up two shades in the recent Ulta coupon and I picked up the shade Peanut and true story and I have been enjoying these so so much that I ran to my local Ulta store today and picked up more shades. I picked up four more shades so I thought since I really like these I should tell you guys about them. A lot of you have noticed the shades and have been asking me what's on my lips and that doesn't really happen a whole lot to me so I thought hey let me grab more shades and then let me show my subscribers what shades they have. So let me just go ahead and hop on Morphe's website. Now Alta has I think the whole range. I could be wrong but let me just get on Morphe. And you guys know not a huge fan of Morphe products but if they make something good and it's relatively affordable, I'm not going to complain about it. So these liquid lipsticks do retail for $10 and there are how many shades? So there's 18. I was trying to figure out if Morphe.com had more shades than like Ulta. I'm not really sure. If you guys know, let me know. They do have a really nice variety of colors. Let me go ahead and insert the screenshot so you guys can kind of see the gradient. But my thing with liquid lipsticks is I can never find one that works with my, well, not never, but it's hard for me to find ones that complement my skin tone. I feel like a lot of nudes are very, very nude. And I feel like more recently I've seen more warm tone nudes that are appropriate or easier for me to pull off. I know different people have different preferences, so obviously I'm only going to relate back to mine. And the funny thing about my liquid lipstick collection I usually find a formula I love and then I buy a whole bunch of stuff from that and the really funny thing is a lot of it is brands that most people don't really like. Like one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas and I want to do a video on this at some point are the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I feel like he also has a really nice variety of shades for people with my skin tone. I also really like the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks plus these are very very affordable so these are like the liquid lipsticks that I found are super affordable and have a good shade selection. And then the other liquid lipstick formula I really, really love is Kat Von D. So I have a lot of really awesome shades from Kat Von D. And I love that she did like the shade Lolita is like iconic in the beauty industry. And it was one of the first liquid lipsticks that I feel like really suited my skin tone. So those are two brands. I have, you know, a little bit from here and there and the other, but Jeffree Star and Kat Von D are probably the bulk of it and now Morphe so really just like interesting brands not really like maybe the most well known for the good good stuff oh and I also really like this formula this is the Sephora collection lip stains I really want to swatch this particular package next so maybe watch out for a video if you guys want to see swatches I'm just gonna swatch on my hand I have like a really big like dry patch going on on each side of my lips here and it actually hurts. It like stings, which has never happened to me before. So I'm a little bit freaked out by that, but let me just grab. I feel like I prepared, but I didn't prepare. So let me grab some tweezers and then I'm actually not wearing anything on my lips right now and I'm feeling kind of bold. So let me put on, oh my God, these baby hairs. Uh, let me put on this color like just screams holiday and this is the shade hot shot now these are drying they're not completely like non-drying but they're definitely manageable they're not like the worst thing I've ever put on my lips that's for sure and so I'll just give you a warning that it's a little bit dry but also these are 10 bucks so great deal I love this packaging it is very like a little bit different so let's go ahead and put this on Ugh. I just thought this would be such a fun holiday red. And voila! So it's not like anything overly fancy. That was just one dip and I was able to do my entire top and bottom lip. 
Obviously, you can go on and make it more opaque if you want to, or you can use a lip liner. I know Morphe has lip liners. But yeah, I really just like this formula so far, and it's very cold here, so the fact that I can manage to have this on all day is pretty awesome. So yeah, this is the shade, uh, what was this again? Hot Shot. And it's the lipstick on my lips, and I think this is such a fun color, especially with the holidays. Everything else I got were kind of in like the nude category. So let me show you guys the two shades I have been loving and you guys have been loving on me. This one is True Story. I showed this on my Instagram and so many people commented on the shade and I just love how this looks on my skin tone. It's a beautiful nude shade for people with my skin tone. So if you have the chance to go swatch these or order them online, you can use a 10% off code uh, if you order it on Morphe. Otherwise, you can order on Ulta. This is the shade Peanut, and this is the one I've actually been wearing all day today. It's so beautiful. I just love it. It's like a pinky nude, but it's like still very warm. So you guys better saddle up because you're going to see these shades over and over again in my videos. Okay, so next I picked out Jealous. Jealousy, sorry. This one I have not worn yet. These, um, the ones that are I'm taking out of the packaging are the ones I literally just got back from Ulta. I had Chipotle for dinner and now I'm making this video. So this one looked really cool in store. Oh my gosh, this one reminds me of Kat Von D Lolita. For sure, it's like the mauve shade that everyone loved a couple of winters ago. I don't know when it came out, but I still love that color. It's like iconic to me because Every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, such a good shade, such a good shade. This shade looked really pretty in store as well. This is called Nibble. Um, and then the only ones I didn't buy were like the really light nudes. And then there was like a dark burgundy shade. I don't really tend to wear burgundies that much, so I passed on that. But this is the shade Nibble. This is pretty too. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is pretty. This is like a brown, like a warm toned brown. It's gonna be so nice for the winter time. And then the last shade is called Bloodshot. And I'll try and leave the shade descriptions on the screen so you guys know what each of these shades are described as on the Alta website. So this one is definitely more of a burgundy color as well. I might have not really needed a shade like this, but this one, I think this was de described as like a deep berry. So I thought I'd buy it because I was hoping it wouldn't be too, too dark, but oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. These are going to be like my lip sticks for like the next couple of weeks, you know, because I, yeah, when I like a liquid lipstick, I buy like a bunch because I just love to like wear the different shades so very very excited for these and I hope this video helped you guys out so now I have six of the Morphe liquid lipsticks I don't think I'll buy any more but yeah if you guys are looking for an affordable formula these are really really good and I think the shade selection is very very nice and yeah I hope you found this video useful and entertaining if you liked it definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know and subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys